thought our guys competed their tails off today. I thought um, our hitting coach, uh, Chase Sloan, did a really good job preparing us for their starter. We felt like it was a good matchup uh, against our offense. I thought we did a really good job seeing the ball up. Kind of capitalized on a few of their mistakes, uh, but got some balls up that, that we put good, good swings on. Their bullpen did a really good job coming in the game, kind of shutting us down. Uh, you know, Sebastian Gongora, tremendous start for us. We just didn't didn't, didn't shut the door late. Uh, credit to those guys, they just kept calling back. All right, so we have uh, starting pitcher Sebastian Gongora here with us, as well as second baseman Garrett England. This time we'll uh, open up for questions for the student athletes first. Once we finish up with them, they will be dismissed, and then we'll get back to uh, coach uh, questions for coach. So, if you do have a question, raise your hand and just state your media affiliation, please. Right. Patrick Gabriel with D1 Baseball. Sebastian, uh, just tell me about your outing. What made you successful today, and just uh, how much gas you had left in the tank there, right at the end? Um, I think just from the start, going out there and being confident. Uh, really helped me out there today. I think just pitching all seven innings with the mindset that we're here to stay and we're here to win this game. I know that um, not many people predicted us to, to go far or win this regional, so I think kind of pitching with that mindset, pitching with that, that underdog mindset really fueled me and fueled the rest of the team to put on the performance that we did today. So. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, it uh, felt pretty good to help the team get a couple extra returns from us there. Um, just had a good at bat, down to two strikes, and uh, kept fighting, and uh, got a pitch I could hit, disadvantage. Sebastian, in that last inning, uh, the throw down the second kind of got you there on the back. Did, did that have any effect on you going into that inning? To be honest, not really. I think I had a lot of adrenaline going, and so when it hit me, it was kind of like out, but then whatever. You know, I, my the whole left side of my rear end kind of went numb, but once I started pitching, I didn't really feel it. Good time for a couple more if you if anyone else has any <coughs> questions for the student athletes. You guys, I mean, just last weekend, you guys had your backs up against the wall after falling to Oakland, won three straight. Um, what do you think it's going to take to you? Do the same here this weekend. I just think it's foolish to count us out. I mean, uh, our whole team has been fighting our whole lives. Uh, we're not up this thing yet. I'm completely confident that we still, we still got a shot to win this thing. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and dis dismiss the student athletes. Again, if you do need any more time with the student athletes, uh, get in touch with their SID Alex Underwood. He can in assist there as well. So uh, we'll go ahead now and open up for questions for Coach. Coach, Hunter Tickle, Tribune, Stogger, and Terre Haute. Um, when you guys got out there and start getting some runs, you all want to get some momentum. You know, it looked like you guys were going a bit of a lead. You guys were up, obviously. And then come the end of the game, it's 5-4, it's 5-3. It's Did it feel like maybe you guys had tacked on maybe six, seven runs at that point? It was actually a little bit bigger of a lead? Or can you take take me through that and kind of coming out strong and maybe not having as big of a lead as it felt like in the stadium? Yeah, I, I think uh, that was the goal, to try to, to, try to hit him first. And, I think offensively did a really good job, and, and Sebastian was huge for that piece. You know, quieting their offense, a you know, really talented offense, and uh, keeping them down for a few innings, allowing us to get a lead. But we knew, right? We knew that they would call back, and, uh, and so that's what we kept telling the guy: "Hey, keep playing, keep playing," because um, there was a lot of baseball left to play. Hey, coach, what's the message to the team? Obviously, you played a great game. You know, lost at the end. What's your message to the team going into? Well, I think just the sooner you, you move on from this game, right? Obviously, it's, it was an emotional game on both ends. And uh, the sooner you move on and, and get get to focus on the game tomorrow, that's all that matters now, right? There's nothing we can do about what just happened. You think it's a gut punch, but right? It, it happens in baseball. And and I think our guys are really good about uh, staying in the present, staying in the moment, being able to, to move on and focus on the task at hand, and, and that's the game tomorrow. Can you kind of talk to me a little bit about the production from the back end of your guys' lineup today? I mean, obviously, uh, Luke Hart and Sass had an over day. Uh, what does it mean to have the back end of your lineup keep this thing rolling? Yeah, I thought those guys stepped up and, and some big timely hits. I, you know, I think, um, you know, Sass and, and Luke Hart have been so good for us all year. 
they can't do it every game. You know, I think Gary with the big swing early, AP, Andrew Patrick with the big home run to lead off the inning. Um, and then Boston Smith, you know, he's a, he's a guy that arguably one of our better hitters. And, and you know, his, his average was down this year, but we know how talented it is. So it was good to see him step up a big stage and get a big RBI double to, to get us on the board. Do you have time for a couple more if anyone has any questions? Yeah, Coach. Uh, talk to me about Tristan Hunt. I know yesterday you asked him if he could throw 27 innings this weekend. Obviously, a little bit of a rough out of the day. Uh, do you think he could be back tomorrow, ready to go? Yeah, he'll be ready tomorrow. Um, you know, obviously he left some pitches up. I think he did a really good job in this, coming in this situation. He got he got a fly out. Um, he, he, you know, he, he walked a guy, and then we were kind of pitching around a guy, and then got got their catcher in a good spot. You know, with two strikes. Just left the pitch over the plate. He did a really good job fighting it off and, and doing a job. But yeah, we'll have everybody ready to go tomorrow.